so the very first thing you want to do is go to this uh, website right here and then you want to just scroll down you're going to be basically downloading three files so you want to download this file the CR10S Pro uh, TM3D B7 if you have a BL Touch you want to download this one but this is a standard so you probably don't have a BL Touch then you want to download this uh, screen files this D win set and this is for the flashing of your LCD and then you also want to download this EE, uh, EE Prom reset just know that the bigger uh, gigabyte cards might not work um, I think the maximum uh, gigabyte you can use is about a 32 so you might as well just use the 8 gigabyte card that came with the printer you are going to need a micro uh, SD adapter like this and insert it into your computer or or you can use a dongle like this you're gonna to have to format the SD card in the FAT32 format make sure you format the micro SD card and not your hard drive uh, you want to extract the DWIN uh, set files you can use the uh, extract command on the uh, file folder or if you don't have it you may have to uh, use the WinZip you want to copy the DWIN set into the root directory of the micro SD card I'm going to remove the cover Here's the SD micro SD slot over here on the LCD. Just be aware that there may be some hang time when you're flashing the LCD. When it's done flashing, the printer should reboot itself. Okay, I'm going to take out my uh, micro SD card and then I'm going to. So I plugged in the printer uh, micro USB to my laptop. I powered on the printer. I'm going to use uh, Cura to update my mainboard firmware. Finally, after a couple of tries, now it's giving me the option to upload the custom firmware. And I'm going to go to where's desktop firmware. It says firmware update completed. I'm going to close it out. The last step is to copy the EEPROM reset file into the micro SD card and then go ahead and plug in that micro SD card into your printer and then go ahead and print that file. I don't use the SD card itself to print my files. I use OctoPrint. Um, that's why I, I didn't really show it on the video here. 
but again it's very simple you just print that file just like you would print any other uh, printing file so once you complete your upgrading the firmware you may want to relevel your bed one of the first things you should do when you get your printer is actually upgrade this firmware it does have runaway fire protection and and it really doesn't cost a thing except a little bit of your time I will be putting the links in the description below if you found this video helpful go ahead and like and subscribe